Well, yes, there is a lot more than Miss Lee out here. There's a whole congregation full of people out here. I the kids, too. That's right. You know, one of the things is, by the way, boys and girls, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet my, uh, my good friend, Dig Dag. You know, you always say that. Well, uh, of, of course I say that, because I, I want them to know who I am. I want them to know who you are. I'm Doug. And, yeah. You're a dig dag. What? Did you ever think that maybe I would like to do an introduction sometime? Okay, uh, hadn't really thought about that, but um, okay, we can do that. Go ahead. You, you can go ahead and do the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, I would like to introduce to you the world's best looking ventriloquist. <laughs> the funniest man in the world. <laughs> and one person you would definitely really want to meet, but he couldn't be here today, so here's Uncle Doug. Oh, no, wait a second. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't very much. Well, I build up and then, okay. yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you tell him. Yeah, he, he, and the only thing is that he can really say that, I can't. Yeah, okay, well, that's true. You know, Dick Dick, uh, actually, it's kind of an interesting thing that, uh, that we are here today because we're, we're, at, and we're, we're here at, uh, at church. Where are we? We are uh, at the Woodbridge United Methodist Church here in Woodbridge, New Jersey. Well, you know, what are you going to do here? Well, we're here to talk to the kids and to the moms and dads as well. And, and then what are we going to do? Well, then we're going to listen to the sermon. And then we get to go home? Yes, well, then we get to go home. Let's go now. No, 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 no. We're here to hear God's word and to share God's word with everybody who's here. Jesus loves you. Now can we go? No, 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 no. No, as a matter of fact, uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that everybody understands. You're going to be here forever. I'm never going to get to go. You're going to put me in a suitcase. You're never going to take me out again. You're going to find the money. It's a dig dag. That's not what I'm going to do. You're going to put me in the offering and I'm never going to come back. <laughs> No, I, I'm not going to put you in the offering. You're, you're not? No, no, I wouldn't put you in the offering. I, I brought you here. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to keep you. I'm going to take you home with me. Do you promise? Of course I promise. You know, there's a reason why I bring you with me. I know, because I can't bring myself. Well, that's true. But you know, the reason I bring you with me is because you were made for me. It's a scary thought. <laughs> well, I hope it's not that scary. But you know, there was a time, Dig Dag, when you didn't exist. It was a sad world. <laughs> but you know what? I thought about you. There was a time when I said, I want a very special friend. I thought about what I wanted you to look like. I thought about how I wanted your eyes to look. They're plastic. <laughs> but I thought about the kind of plastic. I thought about the very freckles on your face. Yeah, you could have rethought that one. Well, no, I wanted them there. I thought about the clothes you would wear. I thought about the words that you would say. You, you know what words I was gonna say? Well, I thought about a lot of them, yeah. But you know, there was one more thing that I had to do. I had to call somebody and have you made just the way I wanted you. Really? Yeah. You mean 
Somebody really put me together just the way you wanted me put together? Exactly. But wait a minute. I wasn't born. No, you weren't. UPS. Okay, yes, yes, all right. So it was UPS. It's a little different than most of the rest of us, okay? But the fact of the matter is, you were made for me. You were made to sit right next to me every day, and you were made to sit on my arm. As a matter of fact, there isn't anything that you don't say that I don't say. Really? Yeah, and there's nothing that you can think of that I don't think of first. I didn't know you thought about that. As a matter of fact, there isn't a movement you can do that I don't do first. Oh boy, ain't you scary to it? But you see, the truth is, the reason that is, is because the reason you move is because of something I do. I will it, I think about it, and then you react. Oh, oh you mean that, that whatever I do is reflects you? That's right. You see, everything you do, I do with you. We do it together. It's like our Heavenly Father. He thought about every one of us. Did you know that God thought about you before you were born? Did you know that God knew that you would have those beautiful big eyes? Did you know that? Before you were even born, God knew that. Moms and dads, did you know that God knew what you would be thinking this morning when you were sitting in church looking at a puppet? God knew everything about each one of us. And then he looked down and he said, I'm going to make you just the way I want you to be. So we are, we are really made for him. That's right. And, and, and we weren't an accident? No, we weren't an accident at all. We were made on purpose. Exactly. We were made on purpose. And we were made for a purpose. And just sit on somebody's lap. No, no, no. We were made for the purpose of serving our Heavenly Father. To worship him. We were made by him to worship him. So that he, other people could see him in us. That's right, exactly. So I, I could be Jesus to the world too. That's right. I can let people see Jesus in, in me? Well, yeah. Each one of us can let Jesus be seen in us. If we place our faith in him, ask him to forgive us of all of our sins, and ask him to be the Lord of our lives, and then we can be Jesus to the world. That's right. We can be Jesus puppets. Um, yeah, I guess we could. I guess we could. All over the world? That's right. And can puppets speak Spanish? I imagine they can, but not in my house. I think what we should do right now is just let's, let's stay, share with the boys one more, boys and girls that are here one more time. What are we here for, Dick Dag? Lunch. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What, what, why are we here? Because it's where the car went, silly. <laughs> no, the purpose? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. We are here for a purpose. To worship him. That's right. We're going to worship the Lord. And that's what we came, that's what we're here for, and that's what we can do together. Will you do that with me? You promised me this week that in some way you can find something. Maybe it's something you enjoy doing, and you can turn and say, thank you, Lord, for giving that to me. I worship you today. Would you do that with me? Yeah, I promised. Well, I know you will, but I'm talking about the boys and girls. Oh, yeah, of course they will. They said they would. That's right. And they don't lie, do they? Okay. Okay, so one of them lies, but that's okay. The rest of them are okay. Okay, all right. Listen, I think it's time for you to go back into your suitcase here, and uh, it's time to get ready for the sermon, okay? Oh, good. I get to get my Bible out and learn more about Jesus. That's right. Oh, good. Okay. So, and after, do we get lunch after? Just relax about lunch, will you? Okay? All right, okay. I'm going to go back right now.